the father of forest here in Europe. I wanted to walk here barefooted. And, uh, with no socks. Take my socks off. Want to touch this gentle earth here and uh, feel part of this earth. I'm a father of nature and uh, see how. Soft carpet cushion. This is there's life, there's cold, cold temperature. I belong to this earth in these thick and thick and dense forest. I can feel immense, immense joy and life right here. Uh, the most incredible is that uh, we don't realize how important is it for us to feel this body once take the shoes off and touch this earth with your bare foot and walk gently just as the other animals are walking here there's so much life form that exists around here whatever is out standing here all came from this earth they all came from this earth. I've got goosebumps. Is it because of the cold? Is it because of the sun falling through these trees? The pine needles have fallen on the ground and breathing. Oh, I can feel pinching under my foot. It's good to feel that we got to we got to gently release this toxicated body with all the plastic and consumption that we have lived on for the last how many years and uh, feel gentle and uh, connected to the earth and uh, as you have to put back this body to this earth. <sighs> How can we educate? How, is there, there's nobody here. If there's anybody, they're on their phones. They're on their, and there's a gentleman there trying to sell um, arts and craft things, it's survival. And uh, the signatures on that arts and craft trinket boxes were a shotgun, a hunter's gun, and uh, bits and bobs chopped off the, the nature. Um, an axe, a knife, a dagger. It's... Uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, delighted to be here I can't be any more naked I can't take any more of my clothes off I'll be shot we are distance from life 
on a daily basis. Our cities are built to to an incredible criminality by destroying every possible life for our comforts, temporary comforts, the enormity of waste by destruction to the nature and life around is untold, mon monumental. There's a, a cut down, a dead tree, a trunk here. I come so far away and standing here with my feet on the ground, I feel absolutely delighted and humbled by what this nature has given me. The possibility I have invested my time and effort and consciousness to leave something behind in these messages. Hopefully one day the governments, individuals, the uh, conscious human beings, conscious governments, and conscious, responsible beings will one day wake up to the true realities. These children that I have spoken earlier on, um, they will realize that the Facebook, Google, and convenience of games and pornography on the television and advertising monsters and corporations will all come together when it's too late it is time for us to wake up to this very reality. This is the father of forest, which has been protected under the United, UNESCO's, United Nations, UNESCO's World Heritage Foundation. Yet, along the route, you can see complete opening of the forest and when you speak to people, you say, oh, there's enough forest. And uh, especially if you're living and brought up in a forest, you don't pay that much attention, do you? You pay more attention to your phone and to the city. When you're brought up in the city, the forest is becoming a place where you want to retreat to. But then you cut down the forest to actually find your comfort and conveniences inside the forest. I've come to the forest just that I don't want to be in the city or the forest or anywhere. I just wanted to be on this earth, not defining a place with comfort and conveniences. I wanted to be with whatever I find that is relevant for human survival and live what we live with that with a bare minimum. Uh, I could easily carry along with me everything I want to do in a picnic and come down here and throw my rubbish after a picnic, not even regard that. And that's what we are doing around the world today. What we need to do is open up, embrace, and enjoy the sun, enjoy the nature's pure freshness instead of inhaling and consuming toxins and when I got off at the train station at Brest this morning some 120 miles south from here all I smelled was carbon burning because of the coal the coal temperature keeping the, the population in the city warm by burning coal what is joyful for me is this that I was able to touch and feel the convenience of this earth. I can feel my free cold feet now. That's beautiful. I can feel the energy reverberating directly from me to the earth, earth back onto me and relating. I hope the vibration is something that we want to do. Look and fulfill, and uh, more so, oh, the silence. <laughs>